Okay, so we've now downloaded and we have officially installed FileZilla. So I'm going to drag the screen up here so you can see FileZilla and kind of understand how it's going to function. So you see here, once you're in FileZilla, you're going to see a screen that looks very similar to this. Now on the left-hand side here of your computer, this is actually all the files that are located on your computer. And you would just simply scroll through, um, you know, the documents, wherever you, you've saved your file, and you're going to pull that file open, wherever your OpenX files are located. So I found that file, and I'm going to open it up here. And then I'm going to next go over here because this is where you would set up your host information. So if you have a new site, you would just call it testsite.com, for example. You'd put in your host name, and you'd put in whatever your host name is file transfer protocol and then under anonymous you'd select normal and put in your username which is provided by your hosting company and your FTP password which is provided by them and then you'd select cancel or uh, connect and now that you've done that your website will show up in a drop down just like this so I'm going to go ahead and connect to my server and so I simply have connected. Now when I'm on my server, in most cases you're looking for it's called public HTML, and that's where you're going to find all your files. So now in this particular example, we're going to just look for a website that I'm going to put this ad serving network on. So I'm going to go ahead and look for one of the many websites I have. And we're going to just quickly attach it to that. I'm just going to create a directory on my folder called uh, Ad Serving Network or Ad Serving Ad Serve. And then I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to go over to that folder. So the right side obviously is on my server, and the left side that you see over here is on your computer. So now that I've selected Add Serve, I'm going to now work on uploading these files here. So in order to upload a file, I'll just highlight it. I can right click and then choose Upload. And then you're just going to let that upload. So again, I right click and I choose Upload. And so it's going to take me a little bit to get through all these files because there's quite a few files within OpenX. So I'm going to pause this video while the files go ahead and upload. Okay, so we're back here and all of the files should now be uploaded to the server. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to go over to uh, the VAR folder and you need to make it writable permissions. Now this is very simple within the FileZilla. You simply FileZilla program you go to VAR, you right click, and you're actually going to first open the folder. So we're going to open that folder up. And then inside this folder, we're going to make all the folders within here writable. And to do that, you simply just checked right all the way through. So we're just going to select File Permissions again, click on Right, and then click on OK. And then do the same thing here, right, right, and then hit OK. And then we're also going to do the same thing in the www images folder. So www, and then you browse to Images folder as well. Oops.
and we're going to make sure the VAR folder is set as 777. So now that you've done that, you are now ready to move forward to the next step, which is to run the installation wizard. We're going to pause this video, or actually stop this video, and move on to the next video in this series.